Hi, this is Jake with Lifeline Pet Supplies. Today I'm going to cover the Lifeline Pet Supplies Puppy Kitten Pet Incubator ICU. We are going to go over a nebulizer connection for the unit. So if you have a nebulizer um, yourself or you have purchased one from us, um, I have the uh, Philips Respironics in Aspire here. I'm going to kind of give you a breakdown of how to hook this unit up. And I want to go ahead and start with the nebulizer connection pack. You will need this uh, nebulizer connection pack that's ordered on the website at lifelinepetsupplies.com. And what I want you to do is go ahead and open this up <clears throat> so that you can see uh, contents. We've actually got a little T adapter here. Um, here's a standard nebulizer cup with elbow and tubing for that. So the first thing you want to do is reach inside your incubator here and you can pop out that little black tab here right here in the center where it says nebulizer go ahead and pop that out uh, from the inside it's easiest just to push it out from the inside and once you've got that pushed out from the inside you're going to see the opening here and what you want to do is take this large end of the T adapter and push that through from the inside so reach around your door from the inside and then push that piece through about halfway on that big section um, there of the um, of the T adapter there. So that is going to leave about um, three quarters of an inch or so roughly of that sticking out of that section there. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to take this piece and disconnect your cup um, your, your cup and your internal, which is I call it a regulating disc, it actually uh, brings the whole circumference size down so that it forces more pressure into the cup. And when you have a liquid medication in here, that high pressure nebulizer pump will turn that into an aerosol or a gas. So just set that cup with the disc down out of the way. That's going to leave you with just the top piece and the elbow. What you're going to do is go ahead and push that Hold it from the inside and then just push that tightly into the fitting there um, so that it provides access for any of your contents of your cup that's going to go in here. It's going to provide access into the incubator. So we're going to set that cup down for a second here. And then the next thing I'm going to focus on is going ahead and hooking that up to your nebulizer pump. So you'll see I've got the Philips uh, in Aspire. Um, Respironics in Aspire Deluxe Nebulizer Pump here. Take the end of your oxygen tubing and go ahead and push that down onto your nebulizer pump. And that is on the Phillips, it's right here. That is your output there. So that is going to pressurize the air into this tube here. And this is the other end is what you're going to end up putting on the cup. Now, I find it best to do it after. Um, go ahead and put your liquid saline solution or your contents um, that you're neb using to nebulize, uh, whether it's linosin, genomycin, if it's something um, that's a prescription medication, go ahead and put that on there. And you can see you've got uh, your CC volume markings, two, four to six CCs on the side of that. Generally, you wouldn't fill any more than six CCs. Put that into the cup once that liquid medication is in there and just tighten that up doesn't have to be overly tight just snug then the other end of that standard tubing is going to pressure fit right onto the bottom of that so just wiggle that on till it feels like it's pretty tight and that's it so the next thing you're going to do is go ahead you can see i've wiggled that tubing on there go ahead and turn your pump back on and that is going to pressurize that and force the contents of your cup into the unit. Now make sure that you have the unit door closed securely in the front and latched so that the animals that are inside the unit are just breathing that in comfortably and they don't have to be masked. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us at lifelinepetsupplies.com uh, you can go to the footer and find a contact us, or we have we have our information in several areas of the website, including phone number. Uh, if you access the FAQs, 
also go to the product page where you purchase the product and scroll down. You will find a tab that says uh, PDF manuals and instructions. We've also got a product videos tab there for reference. And um, if you have any qu other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Thanks for choosing Lifeline Pet Supplies.